The Snowy Mountains is a winter wonderland, but in autumn, a very different kind of beauty is revealed. What lies beneath the snow is a pristine alpine landscape just teeming with life. And at this farm, the waters are also teeming with life. This is the catching one. <laughs> I hope so. Terrific. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Peter is the owner-operator of Yukon Bean Trout Farm. We're at one of only two uh, trout farms where you can actually fish in New South Wales. So we've got three types of trout. We've got the brook, the brown and the rainbow. The first one were the uh, brown trout brought in after the gold rush in 1850 in Ballarat. No matter what your age or skill, it seems everyone loves having a fish at Yukon Bean. Do the kids do the kids love it when they oh, come? Absolutely, go out of go out of control. If fly fishing's your thing, there's also a private lake on the property. Oh well, Lady Luck wasn't on our side, but it was magic just being here. One of the best things about you can be is that you can cook what you hook just after you've weighed in. And you'll be tickled pink with the spread at the Tickled Trout Cafe. Is that my trout? It's your trout, but it's been smoked. Do you smoke, you smoke it? Yes, we do. I can smell it from here, mate. Yep. And pate as well? Yeah, we've got some pate over there. We've got some Tilbur cheeses here. And uh, a bit of our Highland beef. And a bit of alpaca for a total different sort of taste in the Highlands. I like to finish off or start a meal with something sweet. So I'm headed to the Snowy Mountains Cookies Factory, run by an old mate of mine, Nolan. Now, when people come in the door here, they can look through that window there and actually see a bit of production. But seeing I've known you for a long time, any chance of a back room sort of... No, no, there's no chance. No? <laughs> <laughs> for a small production, these guys make a lot of cookies. We'll bake somewhere between 25 to 50,000 cookies a day. Really? Yeah, we don't eat them all, not in one day. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm a bit a shocked at that. That's a lot of cookies, isn't it? Yeah, for little old Jim Dubai, I don't think that we're, you know, a proper manufacturing plant, but it, all, it does happen out here. This is the Love Chocolate, our biggest selling cookie. 43% chocolate, white, milk and dark, curvature chocolate. You can't have enough for that one. Cookie heaven! Snowy Mountains Cookies has some very unique flavours and some very unique packaging. This was done by a local artist just down the road. Pauline Coxon runs a gallery featuring her work in nearby Berrydale. A contemporary Indigenous artist, Pauline hails from another stunning part of New South Wales. I'm actually a Gurupai artist from the Barrington Tops. I was really drawn to this country, which is Narrago country. How do you start the process of doing, like behind me and to the side of me, these unbelievable paintings? So I'm an abstract landscape artist and I see the landscape. I absorb the landscape and nature, so that's one of my loves. Pauline's alpine landscapes are stunning. And so are the views back at my accommodation at Crackenback Farm. The farm has six cosy bedrooms and plenty of places to relax and unwind. At the farm, mealtimes are always a treat. Plus, these guys have an excellent selection and knowledge of wine. Toby, I've decided to have the duck for dinner. I love duck. What would you recommend to go with it? Uh, let's go with the Copper Bella Pinot Noir from Over the Hill in Tumbarumba. Local food matched with local wine. Now, that's what you call a winning combo. That meal was a cracker, just like the snow is in autumn. There's so much more to the snowy mountains than just snow, and it's breathtaking in autumn. For more info on this pristine area, head to visitnsw.com.